good day everyone my name is Ruslan and in today's video we're going to make a beautiful 3d floor plan of a single room in a resort hotel inside Revit so stay tuned and let's get started let's go to new metric architectural template okay the first thing is the floor plan as you can see we are in level one so let's go to architectural and uh, floors uh, generic 150 mm and the size I believe a suitable size would be a suitable size would be 350 330 feet and um, followed by 15 feet here you go this is it so this is our main uh, floor plan or you could say our main floor area now let's go back to our 3d let's change the position of this a little bit and as you can see it's it is in level one so let's go back to level one and let's make the walls architectural and uh, walls architectural generic let's go to edit type duplicate and then uh, nine inches wall so we'll change the material and everything later on we'll go to finish face exterior and um, let's just make our boundary and okay and um, you know the 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 hotel room or the resort room even has a balcony so we would even have to make uh, a four feet balcony to it so let's do that All right, and let's set this to four feet. All right, let's press OK. And as you can see, this is it. Okay, the walls are above. So right click, uh, select all instances in entire project, and let's set the top constraint to level two. Let's go back to southern elevation. Let's change this to 11 feet. And as you can see, the beauty of Revit is that whatever unit you put inside is automatically going to change it for you. So, you know, I've used a lot of softwares and I've used SketchUp, I've used eTabs and a lot more. And I believe Revit is the king of all of them. Why? Because, you know, the workflow we have in Revit and the, the quantities, the schedules we can make, they're just, they're, they're amazing. So... As a civil engineer, I believe learning and mastering Revit is very important. Every civil engineer or architect must be familiar with the Revit. So this is it. Uh, now let's go back to a level one. Let's divide the room area into two main sections, right? Uh, for example, you guys are going to have an idea of what I'm talking about as we move on, as I start making these walls and everything. So let's go to walls, let's go to edit type and uh, let's duplicate this and let's choose 4.5 inches. Let's press OK, let's go back to your settings and uh, 4.5 and inches and it's automatically going to change it for us. Similarly, all right, we'll edit that later on, for example, and uh, let's go to walls again. You know the, the 9 inches wall I made? I forgot to change the thickness of that. Yes, so now it's 9 inches. Okay, so now let's go back to walls and 4.5. Uh, and so as you can see, let's, let's first just make a wall right here. And... Uh, Let's go straight to the right. Okay, everything is good until now. And let's just click on this. Let's go back to our aligned dimension. Let's go to wall faces. Let's change this to. And um, let's, uh, while, while this being selected, let's go to create similar. 
let's choose another wall right here all right again let's right click all of them select all instances in the entire project and let's set the top constraint to level 2 okay everything is good until now and uh, let's go back to a 3d view so let's set its top constraint to unconnected unconnected one meter and uh, in this case it's same one meter okay so let's go to our top view and let's start placing this stuff let's go to components and uh, load family let's go to our desktop and let's go to for projects this is the the families the components which i've selected and uh, let's first import our bed inside we have to press the space bar so that it rotates and uh, okay let's just place it here for the moment All right, and um, let's go back to our components load family and let's load in this is the main washroom area the the main you could say the, the cleaning or the bathing or the washroom area whatever you want to call it and this is the main the bedroom we have along with the study table and all that so as we move on you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know what am I talking about so let's make let's first choose a simple rail and a glass panel and let's pick these lines and uh, okay so as you can see we have more updates and uh, we're going to try to make this as beautiful as possible so i've even decreased the heights of these walls and now for example you want half a wall of that to be one meters so in that case we would have to use the split element tool and let's split it from here so now the two walls so as you can see now oh, let's go unconnected now we have split the wall into two uh, you could say parts and it's one meters because you want the interior to show and this is the the mirror and the sink another component that I've uploaded okay so this is the progress until now as you can see we have added a lot of things and uh, this is the main the, the balcony outside this is the main bed that's the entertainment uh, area let's call it that and uh, within the the washroom we have a separate uh, standing bathing area uh, let's call it this and uh, this is another um, standing shower we have and uh, that's the main the the sink and then we have this on the side similarly let's place the doors right now i think it's time for the doors so we're on the top view and the uh, doors let's go to height um, okay that's too big All right, let's place one door right uh, here, and uh, let's place the other one right here. So maybe let's let's change the thickness of this by by a bit. The height, let's set it to seven feet, and it's automatically, as you can see, it's changing the the units for us. All right, let's change the decrease the thickness, the width a little bit more. Okay. And again, I forgot the align tool, but that doesn't make it because we need as a small bit of amount of um, distance over here. So you would have to choose move. Okay. 
And now another a very important step in 3D uh, because of floor plans, it's dividing the slab. All right, for example, uh, because we want different materials for different sections, this is the main, uh, let's call it the, the, the bedroom and the changing and the, the entertainment area. So this is going to be different from the cleaning and the washroom area, right? So we'd have to divide this lab, and then again, that's going to be different from the balcony. So how are we going to do that? Well, you know, people draw different slabs for it, but uh, there's even another way of doing it by selecting create parts and then divide parts. Similarly, edit sketch. So that's the first division. And uh, this is the second division we have. Okay, as you guys can see now, now we have this press okay. Okay, now we have divided the the slab into three parts, right? So guys, as you can see, we have a lot of progress done and uh, we have added things in the balcony, the washroom and the only, the last part left is the, the paint, I believe. Uh, let, the, let this component load and uh, we would have to ro rotate this. Uh, let's go to 3D. Alright, we are in 3D. Let's go to rotate. I've added both of these windows, these decorative windows. We have the balcony, we have the small sitting area. Let's uh, decrease this distance by a little bit. And we have the sofa, the main table, the bedroom, the lamps, the, the decorative plants. And uh, let's change, let's rotate this by the rotate tool. Uh, 90 degrees and as usual let's go for a line all right now the only part left is the main paint so we'll just get started with the paint in a while and uh, our, our 3D plan is, is almost done. As you can see, this is our main 3D plan. In fact, let's let's fix these uh, decorative windows. So if you go to wireframe mode for easier reference, no, that's not hidden. All right, that, that looks better. And uh, again, if you go to a line, uh, in fact, let's go to the to the southern elevation and uh, the sill height is 180 in this case so even this one let's set it to 180 okay looks better though and uh, so this is our main 3d plan that I was talking about and uh, our washroom is almost complete now if you remember, we had set the 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 we have we had divided the the floor into three different parts. So then, when we click on a floor, and to the left says it says that material uh, material by original. Well, we don't want that. So let's untick this, and then then we can choose the material for it. So in this case, we want uh, a carpet. Any sort of good colored carpet would work. Okay, so we have added the carpet. Now, same case for the the washroom and the cleaning area. So as you can see, the tiles are changed. The, the carpet is changed. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is the final model. Uh, I've skipped a lot of the video because... Uh, you know we have had a lot of updates during this time and uh, as you can see a lot of work has been done uh, I've added the paint I've added the lights the the washroom is completed the doors are done this is the main entrance 
as you guys can see and these are the two cabinets followed by a small uh, table let's call it a table as all right and uh, this is the main uh, sitting area in front of the, the the entertainment section we have or the TV section whatever you want to call it and there's a small lamp here similarly we have another small cabinet along with this uh, standing clock and uh, then we have the exit towards the the balcony and uh, we have the door the other two designs similarly these are the lights the the hanging lights or you could say the drop down lights and uh, the wall painting is also added and uh, you know for the wall paintings I've forgotten this area so let's go to modify and paint and uh, let's go to default bathroom which is a which is a white paint actually it's not the bathroom though but a white paint is what I'm aiming for and the floor carpet is added the outside tiles are added and the, the washroom is also added All right, the washroom tiles they are also added so now I believe the only thing left is uh, the rail right now we have to change the rail we have to change it into a wooden rail I think something that matches with this door so we'll click we'll click on the rail and uh, uh, we don't need to change that but let's go to it and in the rail there are a lot of edits that we'd have to do so for example uh, I think I would again have to skip because there are, there are a lot of edits all right guys so after playing with the settings and uh, this is as you can see this is the final rail that we have uh, I was aiming for a wooden rail for example let's go and uh, the first thing I changed is the the baluster placement or you could say these are the four uh, main running uh, I wouldn't say word, but horizontal main bars all right the main horizontal rails that we have apart from the top rail and uh, every one of them has a cherry flavor or uh, as a cherry material on it the color which is the name of the color it has and uh, the overall size is 15 to 50 mm so similarly then these are the baluster families uh, the spacing is 6 mm between all of them and the distance from the previous is 1000 and uh, similarly the size of it is 15 to 12 so these are a lot of settings which you would have to play with and you know you do, you can even do the trial and error and you can check whatever is suitable for you so this is our final floor plan that we have this is the final rendered view of our project and as you can see here it's not a bad job done right it, it, it looks good and uh, now we can even go deep inside this is being rendered at the same time on real time in fact so this is the washroom area the, the shower area and everything now you could properly see it this is the main entrance in which we have two big cabinets one is for the clothes and other is for for you know to hang coats or something like that for shoes in and then we have this small table right here which is um, we can even call it a side study table a small table where you put something and read it similarly we have this area in front of the, the TV in the entertainment section and in fact you know we can even change the time of the day for better viewing right so we can even do this yeah now it looks much better and uh, this is the main the standing clock we have another small drawer right here this is the main uh, the decorative windows and or the door towards the balcony this is the main balcony and the wooden the wooden rail that we just updated uh, similarly this is the main uh, the bedroom and the sitting area along with the small table right here and uh, these are the two plants so and I think you know we should change the size of this table so let's go back to Revit alright guys so I've changed uh, the dimension of the table a little bit now it looks even better and uh, let's go let's press spacebar and we can walk through our rendered uh, floor plan so this is our main floor plan this is a small table right here along with a few plants and now this is a big one this is the balcony so here we go this is our 3d floor plan and uh, let's go back into flying mode and let's go to the night view so that so that we can check the lights out which I have added all right so these are the lights these are the two drop-down lights we have outside 
similarly within the bedroom we have a drop down light above the the bedroom and two lamps and uh, this is a standing lamp and uh, this is going to be the main tv or the entertainment area this is another lamp for the small study table and uh, in the entrance we have uh, a drop down lamp another one and within the washroom we have two lamps and two studio bulbs all right so the washroom is going to be bright and uh, this is the main shower standing shower area so this was this guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, stay tuned with us for more live 3d floor plans and i'm going to render a few images and i'm going to add them in the video so thank you and stay tuned for another video thank you